In this video, I'll walk you through the start to finish process that I used for creating this faceted square stone setting. To see how this setting was utilized in a start to finish tutorial for this piece, check out the link below for my Patreon. For this project, I've selected this 7mm faceted square garnet. To begin crafting the setting for this stone, I've cut four 3 inch segments of 21 gauge square in dead soft, four 3 inch segments of 18 gauge half round in half hard, and one foot of 22 gauge half round and half hard. Starting with one of my square wires, I'm going to clamp my pliers in the center of the wire. Using the width of my pliers, I want it to be slightly smaller than the size of my stone. I can bend both ends straight up and then back out to either side. The angle between the long ends of our square should be about a 90 degree angle, putting this inside edge at 45. I'm going to repeat this same process with the rest of my squares. If we lay all four of our squares flat, they should meet together in the center with a square for our stone to sit on. Setting aside our squares for now, let's move on to forming our four half rounds. The process for forming these is fairly similar. I'm gripping with the rounded side facing up. I'm going to bend until approximately the 45. This will give me a slightly softer curve. This softer curve makes it easier to adjust the setting to make sure that everything looks even once we have it connected to the piece. One thing that I would recommend looking out for is making sure that your half round stays as flat as possible. The wire wants to move the path of least resistance, so it'll often try to deform or bend as you're trying to bend it along its flat axis. Let's go ahead and form the rest of our half round wires. If we place these wires flat on our working surface, they should create a cross pattern that comes together with a star in the center. Our stone will sit between our two sections of wire, the square at the bottom, and our half rounds here, securing it down onto the squares on top. The stone itself will sit right in this little star pattern. 
Let's begin to tie everything together. I'm going to start with two of my squares and my one foot of 22 gauge half round. I'm going to wrap three times around both squares. Once I've wrapped around three times, I can flatten my wire and trim my excess wire short. I'm going to slide my coil slightly closer to the center point, where we can take two of our half rounds and coil them on top of our structure so far. These half rounds should sit directly on top of the squares. We're going to wrap two times around both half rounds. I've lined them up so that they should be fairly easy to connect in the next juncture. Making sure that they didn't fall out of place, I can go ahead and flatten our coil. That'll secure these half rounds into their place. Before moving forward, I'm going to separate the two layers slightly, pulling my square wires down towards the back so that I can slide this half round between the two sections of wire for one more coil around just the squares. From here, I'll bring the half round parallel to the bottom square. It'll naturally progress one way or the other, depending on which direction you started the coil. For me, it's going to go off to the right. From here, we're going to go ahead and incorporate our next square. Sliding it down into place, we're going to take our half round and wrap it one time around both squares. I'm going to pinch to flatten those squares into place next to each other, and then go ahead and incorporate our next half rounds. One will be a half round that we've already connected from our starting point. The second one will be one of our new half rounds. We're going to wrap twice around all four wires and then revert back to three times around just the squares. Once we have it around all four, flatten it lightly and then bring the squares down to create some separation between the two sections of wire. From here, we can wrap three times around the squares as tight as we can. Once we have our third coil, we can trim that wire ending short and flatten everything into place. At this point, we have three of our four setting wires connected. You can begin to see how it'll come together. We're going to start basically the same process once again with our last square wire. I'm going to line it up parallel and wrap three times around those two squares with our leftover 22 gauge.
Once I have those three rotations, I can slide it up a little closer to the center and make sure that my squares are aligned. I'm looking for the two corners to touch to create that square in the center. Once I have that in place, I can make sure that my half round is lined up above it. And we can place our second half round. From here, we'll wrap two times around all four wires. According to our pattern, the next step is going to be to go ahead and slide this half round into place between my half round and my squares to create that last coil around just the two squares before crossing over. This can be a bit tricky, and honestly you could probably go ahead and skip this last coil and move directly to connecting our next squares if you're having trouble. Connect our last squares. I'm going to go ahead and bring that half round parallel across the bottom and join just the two squares. Now that the base of our setting is complete and ready for the stone, I'm going to slide my tool between the half round and the squares to begin creating a little bit of space so that we can get the stone to sit comfortably in, in place. I'm using a little flathead screwdriver, but you could also use the base of your pliers. I don't need much space, just a bit enough that we can slide the edge of the stone into place. Once we've created that space, it's time to go ahead and slide our stone into the setting. I'm going to focus first on my two sides that are connected on both ends of the squares. Since my design worked from left to right, since I'm right-handed, I'm working on the left side first. Once I'm sure that my edge connects over the top of the stone with that half round on both sides, I can move on to the two loose squares. Once I secure those with my fingers, you begin to see how the setting will come together. From here, it's time to take that half round two times around all four squares, or all four wires, to secure everything in place. Once I have those pinched, I'm going to go ahead and wrap three times around just the squares to maintain the pattern. And then trim that ending short. At this point, to tighten and secure the stone into place, I can take my round pliers and pinch just below the tying point. To pinch everything slightly tighter over the edges of the stone.
A special thank you goes out to all the names on your screen for supporting this channel through Patreon. What I'm doing would not be possible without your support. If you're interested in helping support the channel, follow the link in the description below this video. If you found this video helpful, leave me a like on the video. It helps me a lot with the visibility of my videos and YouTube's algorithms. To be the first to know when I upload new content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Thank you for watching and happy wrapping.